Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. Passport, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you traveling alone? Oh, no, I've got my mum in here. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. The city streets are paved with all I love to like. I blew right in to make the wrong that I did like. This town will love me through the day, through the night. Mickey! Yeah, it's me, I've arrived. I'm in bloody La La Land. <laughs> yeah, I've got this geezer driving me. Guess what? He drove Jason Strathlin. Yeah! Have you seen Crank? Of course. <laughs> right, Crank 1, if his heart rate drops, yeah. he dies. Yeah, that's... And Crank 2, if his heart rate drops, he dies. Gary just landed in L.A. However, Brendan arrived a few days ago and has already hired his camerawoman, Kiki, a dancer he met in a Koreatown strip club. When I saw you in that cage and I looked at you, I thought, this girl is going to bring me luck. And that's really? why I brought you. Ah. Here we are. Chateau Brendan. It's only one bedroom, Kiki, but you get to sleep in a chair. It's a wonderful experience, experience to drive you around. Thank you so much, Chico. Okay. Shirley Ghostman was on the brink of becoming Britain's most famous psychic entertainer, but recent events have forced him to flee the UK. When I make it in America, Chico, everyone back in England will be like, sorry we did wrong by you. We should never have bloody arrested you. Because all you were doing was trying to do good for the world, and it all got turned against you. The British police force has frozen Shirley's bank accounts. To keep up appearances, he's promoted his driver, Chico, to the position of personal assistant. Come on, Chico. Hello. I'm uh, checking in to the hotel. Okay. You booked me in for a couple of weeks, and then I think we can just, you know, keep it going from there. It's your photo ID and a credit card. OK. OK, just look and sleep. Now, when I bring you back from your trance, you will allow me to stay here for two weeks and come back. OK. We're all done, then. Have you got, like, a little card to get in the door? Or whatever it is, the little doodah? Key? Yes. So do you have an ID with you so I can put your name I do. Um... And sleep. Have you seen any of Ruta Lee's movies? Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? She's a diamond. When she's over in the UK, cos I drive, I do what you're doing now. <laughs> Yeah. in the UK. And once I was driving Ruta Lee, that's how we first met. And she did say to me, Gary, if you ever come over, my door is always open. She's proper old school Hollywood, you know? Ah, oh, Mrs. L. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. God, you look gorgeous. Well, thank you. I fluffed up for you. <laughs> <laughs> this house was once lived in by Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles. Oh, Enjoy. my God. South Pacific. Bob Hope and Jack Benny. With me! You got a bird? Yes. <laughs> now, what brought you here? Well, my mum thought I could do it. You know, she was like... She wanted to be an actress, and she put a lot of effort into it, and she ended up doing, you know, erotic... That's all right. ...stuff in England, mm -hmm. but she had a stroke while she was doing a film. I'm sorry. ..with six guys. And on her deathbed, she was like, Gary, you should be an actor, my son. You and know? what have you done? I haven't... I mean, I did a lot of stuff at school. school. I was like mm -hmm. a rat in a Pied Piper of Amelin. But everyone, you know, when I'm down a pub, everyone turns around, you know? I'm like, all right. And everyone... Every, Let's go, is that Gary? But that's... You should be on a stage, sure. mate. Cos I go in there and I'm doing all this. And all right, like, is all you right. Me, you know, doing a little joke. Going over, I'll get someone in there. Cute, in a bit cute, and he's cute, like, cute, 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 all bullshit. Bang. Cute, cute, all bullshit. But everyone doesn't right. mean it's a scary. thing. Mrs. Now, L shut and all up that. for one minute. You're coming in and doing A and having all the guys, you know, all the blokes in the pub turn around and say you should be in the movies. It's <laughs> not what, what it is. Say. Though. That is what they say. I can tell jokes. No, knock, knock. Who's there? I did up. I did up who? 
<laughs> Macy's Hill. <laughs> Was there a joke there? Well... I didn't get it. Oh, all right, knock, knock. Who's there? I did it. I did up who? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I did up... Are you good in it? It doesn't mean diddly squat. It does. No, it straight doesn't. away, I'm not here. I'm it like, might mean it to the blokes at the bar, but you don't know shit from Shinola about what the technicalities are of film. Yeah, but I've been trained in a university of life. You know, that I... That may be fine, but you haven't been trained. Because at the end of the day, trained. acting is lying, isn't it? It's like if you're out of a bird and she's like, does my bum look big in this? You know you ain't going to get anything tonight if you say... Yeah, it's huge. So you go, no? There, that's acting. You have not the vaguest frigging idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, come not on. the vaguest. Come on, Mrs. L. I can do drama. I'm not, you know, I don't cry. How do you know you can do drama? But look at this. And what is that supposed to prove to me? <laughs> no, imagine what I'm thinking now. I have not the vaguest no, no, idea, not, nor do I care. I know, but I, see, I, can, I can do it in the eyes. Everyone says I can do it in the eyes. Watch. Sad. Happy. I'm thinking about something. What's this? <laughs> you know that? what? Um, That's not acting. The thing what makes me different from other sidekicks is a lot of celebrities come through. I've got, okay. like, access to the sort of VIP area, if you like, in heaven. You know, that's a gift. So that would be something I'm I sure somebody would... I actually had Ledger come through to me. Oh, my. But I worry that that's too soon. That might be. You know, I want to turn up in Hollywood here and just make it big. Well, I think you start you need to start building and getting some following. I don't know of anybody that does the psychic readings that that's, looks like you. I would like to change a bit if I can. What happened to me in the UK, I want to silence that and begin again. And begin again here, OK. Because basically what happened was Olivia Graham's parents hired me because their child went missing. And I do a lot of this work in the UK where I help Investigators, investigators, yeah. Okay. And then they were looking for her. The spirits were showing me her in very shallow water. And I said, stop the search. She is dead. <gasps> the publicity was fantastic. I was front page. Living gave me a series that everyone was going sweet. And then she escaped from hiding. Olivia had escaped from a basement in Bixby Square, less than a mile from her home, and ruined Ghostman's already debatable credibility. What followed was a public downward spiral of self-destruction by the fallen fraudster. And this is when they got me, because they got an undercover reporter oh, dear, to trick that, me. Mm -hmm. And he basically offered for £4,000 cash that he could wipe her out for me. And it was his idea, not mine. All they've got is some footage where I was nodding at what he was saying. I didn't directly say, get rid of her. OK, so you... Ha now, OK, get, let's go back to the Living series. So you had a series. I had a series. You had one. OK, so you have fine. that behind you, so that's good. So you have... Well, no, I don't, because this little shit escaped. So you want to stay here, though, now. Leave that behind. Do you think you want to stay in Los Angeles? I'd love to stay in Los Angeles. Love stay I'd love to make it here. Okay. And to be honest, if I do go back there, I'll get arrested. Across town. Brendan eagerly awaits his first L.A. pitch meeting with an award-winning producer. Come in. Hello. What's name? Sheldon Alfeld. Sheldon Alfeld. Uh-huh. Uh, wait a minute. Thank you. Uh, Who is it? Sheldon Alfeld. Who? Sheldon Alfeld. Um, so let's let add again. Uh, what's your name again? What's that? What? Sheldon Alfeld. Uh -huh. Oh, Sheldon Alfeld. Sheldon Alfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. How do you do? Brendan Allen, please How do you do? Please take a seat. Thank you. Well, it's a you don't mind if I sit over here? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So, what brings you to Hollywood? Um, I am a movie maker, and I want to make documentary feature films in Hollywood. I'm on this journey on my own, really. Well, I've got Kiki, who does my camera work for me. I just want to make something... <clears throat> ..here. Along what lines? OK, what about sharks? Sharks? Well, for years now, we've only been watching documentaries where we see sharks from above the water, seeing their fins, seeing kind of that froth around the fins. My idea, we build a cage, maybe something like steel to stop the sharks getting in, 
and then we have someone underneath the water film the sharks. You actually see under the water. Uh, yes, that's been done uh, quite some time. No, 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 no. That's when you can see the fins on the top. No, I'm you talking You build a camera about, yes. that actually films underwater. No, I understand so not, that. That's what was named Cousseau. The late Cousseau did. No, no, sorry, I don't think you... Sorry, okay. I don't want to respect okay. what you're saying, but I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I'm on about building a camera, because uh, I've got a friend who's got a radio that he uses in the shower. Okay. I'm on about using some of that technology, building a camera and actually filming under the water. So you actually see the sharks That's swimming exactly around. That's exactly what I was telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything Well, you, to you. do. You do. Every I've been a producer you, 60 you years. You are just pummeling it down. I have produced almost 4,000 shows. It's been done. No, they've all, under you've, the water. No, they've only been filmed from above the no, water. No, they have not. If you filmed under the water, you'd get eaten by a shark. Not in a cage. Uh, well, no, exactly. That's my idea. You build a cage, you put someone in it, you lower them down, and then you film it under. So I don't know who this... Um, Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Uh, but I'm saying I, Brendan Allen, yes. not Jacques, whoever it is, what is it? Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Go under the water, below... I the, know what you're saying. Yeah, below where the boats I are. I understand what well, you're saying. Yeah, Brandon, right, so... Except I, for one small detail. It has been done. They just took a snap of me at a urinal. I put my hand up, and I don't know they what they photoshopped this, because this is not... Of course uh, they that's did. not me. See, of course, you know that stuff happens all the time. All right, but I'm not gay, OK? OK, that's fine. I've got a family. I'm fed up with people saying that I'm gay when I'm not gay. There, that's my family. Mm. Oh, shit, sorry. That's my family. Uh, is that... OK, is, you, who's the, is that a little boy? Yeah. Lovely, aren't they? How old are your children? Um... Four... That's a little one. Do you think? A five? One. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's the little baby of the family. The sharks can't get him because of the cage around yes. him. Yes. This cage has been seen in a lot of film. And Why do you want to knock a young man's ideas? Destroy I am supposed my to tell originality. You that's a great idea. Go ahead and do it and make a fool of yourself. Because you know? this is the problem with Americans. Okay. They steal my ideas. The I'm, I'm about sorry, two seconds from walking out of here because you you're are jealous the, you're, of me, aren't I am? you? And why don't you just say it? I am? Yeah. Jealous? Yes. Best of luck to you. Yeah. You're going to need it. Yeah, I will have to. You guys are fucking idiots. Ruta Lee has sent Gary to have his actor's headshot taken by photographer to the stars, Glennon. Have a seat. Is this all your wardrobe's in here? My wardrobe? Yes. Is this wardrobe. what you're going to be shot in? Well, yeah. I'm just going to tell you that this is not going to read well on camera for, uh, for a headshot. Well, I don't know. What, what do you mean? It ain't well, going to read well. It's, uh, this is, like, expensive gear. To be honest, like, I've done a lot of this before. I ain't telling you how to do what you do. Okay. But I've done, like, wedding stuff and, like, I've done my sister's wedding. I've done, like, okay. you know... The best way... Is this a proper place before we get off onto the wrong foot? Have you got, like, proper backdrops with, like, library and all that and... You know, the wheel where you let you on a wheel and it looks like a countryside well, or something. Well, that's what you would do if you were going to Sears for a family portrait. This is... I shoot actors. Well, you, but in all seriousness, right, you ain't got a library backdrop. No, I don't have a library backdrop. Well, that's one, did, that's one did, of the first can things. I just tell, can in, I just tell you something? If you go to a professional photographer in England, you are one not of the first things England. you do is you get a library backdrop. The, first of all, the, a headshot is a picture of your head. Yeah, right. and you, you, I've seen them, I know, I know. And you glamour it all up, put the pearls on, all that, and then they make you buy one. I know what you're going to do, because I'm already there. The okay. first photo, you charge whatever you like, take this one for free, and then you want a big portrait done... No. ..with all the swirls no. on, like no. the oil painting. My friend, you must be shopping in malls for headshots, because that's not what we do. Mickey! <laughs> Sorry, mate, I got Mickey on the line. One second. Tell Mickey I said hello. It's all a bit okay, to be honest. He ain't got a wagon wheel, he ain't got the backdrops, he ain't got any of the light, any of the stuff. Mickey's just saying, what camera you got? Tell him I use a Polaroid camera. He uses a Polaroid. I'm kidding. All right. Tell, tell, does Mickey have something called a computer? Tell him to look me up on the web. Mickey! <laughs> he's, he's a bit pissed. He's pissed. Are you on the Google and all that? He's got a website. This mush has got a website. Have a look at it. Lemon. 
What is it? Lennon. Yeah, I think he might be one of those. What's on their site? Are you joking? Benicio Del, whatever his name is. Benicio Del, what's his name? That's one of my people, yes. Lay off the beer. All right, mate. You can't walk around this town with this attitude that you know everything about this business. You can't be taking your advice from someone that you call a drunk. I'm a fish out of water here, and the only person I've got to rely that's on is Mickey. Exact, that's the only smart thing you've said so far, is that you're a frickin' fish out of water, dude. If, I, if I'm good enough to shoot Academy Award winning people, I'm sure I'm good enough to shoot for you. Benicio Del Toro didn't ask for a wagon wheel or a library background. You're wearing lime green and gray. Yeah. Okay, you've got your Mr. T starter kit, which you, that definitely has to go. What's, what's in the bag? What? Like, do you have any other clothes with you? No, I've got, uh... Your Academy Award? No, not yet. Your I, I Know Everything About Acting trophy? What is it? You brought your mother's ashes with you? To scare him in Hollywood. Was your mother an actress or something? Yeah. Did she work in Hollywood? She didn't work in Hollywood. No, she never got here. Do you know Electric Blue? No. It's like porn, but it's like not full hardcore porn, you know, and she... Your mother was a soft, a softcore actress? An actress, yeah. Sorry, but can I just say, all right, because I get this a lot, Kate Winslet gets an Oscar for just getting her tits out in whatever it was, the German thing, what she done. My mum with all that gloop on her face, could still pull off a proper, believable orgasm, and that ain't good acting. You're, you can't compare Don't. Kate Winslet to what your mother did. It's a different part of the entertainment business. It's acting. That's what it is, okay. all right? Fantastic. Let's get to work. Brendan is going through a divorce with his wife, Susie, and is determined to persuade their five-year-old son, Jack, to come and live with him in Los Angeles. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Brendan Allen, and uh, I'd like to buy the property that you have at Sierra Mar Place. Okay. Hello. Hi. You, Brendan. Russ. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Russ. Place, other business. Hi. So, uh, do you know anything about this house? I know so a little bit. You know, it's the former home of Jerry Seinfeld. Oh wow. The house is about six thousand square feet. <sighs> there are three bedrooms in the main house, plus a theater. Wow, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's great. I mean, the view's fantastic. It's great. Listen, would you mind if I gave uh, a business associate of mine a call and Absolutely. maybe got him down just because of the financial kind of implications of buying Let's do it right. somewhere like this? Hey, Jack. It's Daddy. <laughs> Show this to mommy because I've landed on my feet. Look, this is daddy's new bedroom. Look at this. This is where daddy lives now. This is the bed that daddy sleeps on. Hey, look, come over here. See this view? This is gonna be your house, Jack. We're building a water slide at the moment from upstairs in your bedroom. It's gonna go down to the pool. Come look at the pool, come look at the pool. Look, Jack, there's the pool. Huh? See you soon, I love you, sweetheart. Thanks, man. Uh, look, I don't know if um, he's not convinced that this is the right business deal for me to be doing. I can't. If Mickey saw this, he would have a bloody field day. All my mates in the pub would be like, Go, are you, Bender? Sit there. No, he's like, Sex chairs. Oh, my God. What are you doing? <laughs> so if you just sit there for a moment. <laughs> Just lean on the table there, please. Lean over the table. Lean on the table. Oh, right. Here we go. Hold on, I've got to get in the frame of thing. Well, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just taking a. Are you going to say cheese or anything like that? Because in the Olin Mills, they're like, right, say cheese, everyone, or and everyone. A ducky for you. You're taking the piss out of me, aren't you? I can hear it in your voice. You're doing sarcastic at me. <laughs> sarcastic would be. I love taking pictures of you. Inspired by his publicist's words of encouragement, Shirley has decided to give free psychic readings to the wealthy guests of the Roosevelt Hotel. Hey. Hello. Hi, I'm Michaela. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take a seat. Okay. All right. Um, what I specialize in is numerology. Okay. I work with numbers. Right. Okay. 
Have you got a wallet or anything like that or a purse? Yeah, I should have something okay. in here. I have my license. Okay. Money. This is a visa. This okay. A, now this has got yeah. numbers on it and that's all I need. Right. Okay. Now, just look at me in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to put you in a very, very simple trance. Okay. And sleep. Now, I'd just like you to meditate for a second while you're in that trance. Just close your eyes and relax and just concentrate <laughs> on that. Be one second. Excuse me. Could I clear my bill, please, on this? Could you just make a note of the numbers? I'm confused. Did you want to clear your food bill for today? Everything. I want to clear everything out. What's the uh, valid through 0513? Magic numbers on the back. OK. Right. OK. And come out of your trance. OK. Now, um, that's very interesting. What they're saying to me is uh, there's good news coming your way. They're saying you're going to go to a uh, school, co college, mm -hmm. university. What are you doing? University? University. University is what they're saying. Not bad, is it? I'm from Philadelphia, New York. That's what I thought. I was going to say Philadelphia. Yeah. New York. I came out here to study for the summer. You came here to study over for, the hot for, months. But I'm contemplating because I've been having a lot of uh, mixed energy whether I should right. come back. Yes, that's what finish. they're saying to me. They're saying to me you've been contemplating because you've been having a lot of mixed energy and whether you should go back and finish. Well, I do want to finish, but I was thinking about finishing that's here. That's what they're saying to me. They're saying to me you want to finish the last year, but here. Yeah. Right. That's what they're saying? Yes. Here? That's what they're saying. Is that right? I want to finish here. I right. don't know if that's in the cards. It's in the cards. It's in the stars. It's in the everything. Chico. OK. Can you escort this lady out, please? OK. But, I mean, numerology doesn't have more with your birth date. Um, um, I'm a nine, you know, because nine. numerology, I'm 918, 1988. Yes. That's Eight. a lot. There's a lot of good numbers in that. And if you put that in a long division, so if you carry the four... Um, and multiply that by three. That's a, your power animal number. And you know, with the, if you married, subtract that from 12, and then you've got what is it? Two. What? So from what? From 12. The uh, you know long division and all that. I was never good at maths, mate. But you know, uh -huh. eventually you're going to come out with a bloody good number. And that's what's great. Chico, can you just? Thank you very much. God, love and light. God bless Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And you connected with my spirit? My... It's all been done, yeah, and processed <laughs> through. Yes. Okay. As okay. quick as you can, Chico. All right. Chico. Thank you. Yes. And thank whoever it is that's supporting you while you're doing your studying. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, is he really a visionary? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. But, I mean, he looked at my bank account card. Mickey? <laughs> I'm still here! Yeah? With Lennon? Yeah, we've done it. We've done a smart photo shoot. Yes, mate. No, he's not. He's got a wife. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he is going crazy here. <sighs> All right. OK, mate, I've got to go, cos we're doing serious stuff here. We're doing photos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, hold on. Go back one. No. No. That's quite good. Do you know anyone that can help me out? No. Can you put this in the right hands? Uh, no. I'm sorry. What about if I was to bung your monkey? Well, you uh, want... <sighs> sorry, I'll Excuse me. Part... Really, seriously. Get over there right now. This is the most trying of my patients in my life. Tomorrow, you should get, take the Hollywood tour bus and get a camera and take some pictures of your vacation and go back home. Because I, I, I'm hopefully going to save what's left of your, mother, your mother's fortune that you didn't piss away. If my mum could be here now, she'd say, Gary, you bloody made it. You've just had your headshot done. You're on the first step to success, my boy. And you can do this. And don't let those Americans hold you back. It's a pipe dream. It's never going to happen. So we're done. I don't want you here, and I don't want your mom here. What a fucking loon.
If you missed any of this program or any episode, watch it again on Showtime On Demand on the next all-new La La Land. I'm Gary Garner, the best actor in the world ever. Bish, bash, bosh. If I'm going to team up with a private investigator, I really want to get inside him and start seeing the world through their eyes. I've got flicks in my loins. Ah! If you don't want to do this, just say you don't want to do it. Guess what? Let's not do it. Oh, man, how babyish. Stop being a dick, mate. La La Land, Mondays at 11. Can't get enough La La Land? Log on to SHO.com now for extended scenes from next week's episode.